what is convenient strategy to activate buckling solution how many buckling load factor our structure have and on which load buckling load factor is applied yes you will find answer of these questions in this tutorials please see till end we will perform ansys pre stress eigen value buckling analysis today we have a column of about 25 inch length and 1 inch width and 0.5 inch thickness thick support is applied at its, at its bottom face and loads are applied at its top face we will evaluate buckling load factors using ansys pre stress analysis and we will check how buckling load factor change when we change applied load and also we will evaluate different number of modes welcome to ansol best place to learn ansys and sardworks please subscribe my channel okay first of all drop structural analysis in this window then drop agent buckling module at solution cell so we have linked these both analysis now we will first we'll make geometry of column using design model we we'll make it on x plane click on sketch and draw a rectangle from drop down from drop down list to draw a rectangle change units in inches we will sketch a rectangle starting from origin then we will give dimensions to this vertical dimension is 25 in inch and its horizontal length is 1 inch then we will generate sketch and using extrude option we will define the thickness of extrusion that is half inch and generate again so we have made a 3d columns you can see here now come back to main window and click on and update the model so we enter and answer the mechanical by right just right click it we have we are now in ancient mechanicals first of all we will assign its material that is structured steel and we will mesh mesh using element size 0 0.5 inch generate mesh mesh has been created apply fixed support at bottom of the column select face filter select this face and apply then apply load at top face from load cell select force and select the top face using face filter click here and select component and apply load in wide negative direction that is minus one one pound force so we have applied load then we will solve and the buckling solution we want to extract number of mods that are to solve the solution wait until solution completed solution has been completed come to buckling solution and solve it again so you can see our solution has completed you can see number of mods first mod 
local load factor is 1197 and second mod is 4 first then we will extract mod shape you can see mod shape for, for first mod you can see in which plane uh, this mod deflections for this mod occurs rotate and make its normal to x this means that for first mod buckling occurs in x z plane for second mod we will check deflections you can see for second mod buckling occur in xy plane okay now we need to investigate how buckling load factor change if we make the applied force double change the force and solve again and get solution for buckling load factors you can see buckling load factors has reduced to about 600 pound force for first mod and similarly it also has reduced but the plane of deformations remains also same we will make attractions until buckling load factors becomes near to one so the answer of the first question that how many uh, what is the convergence study to iterate a solution convergence study to iterate a solution is that we should iterate until buckling load factors which is close to one that would be our critical buckling load at that point similarly our next question was on which load buckling load factor applied buckling load factor applied on all loads being used on structure why buckling mod shapes are important please give answers of this question in your comments and if you have no answer then ask the answer of this question in comment please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you for seeing this